Hello researchers, I am today with an important topic, how to avoid retraction in journal publication. Let us see what is retraction, what are the practices will lead to retraction, how to avoid those things, what are the government latest policy changes regarding the retraction. Okay, first of all, retraction is done by a journal when you follow certain unethical practice journal even though after its publication the paper will be flagged as retracted so retraction means this particular paper has involved in some unethical practices there are five important things that will lead to the retraction number one plagiarism number two data manipulation and falsification number three unethical practices Number four, not obtaining proper con consent from the other authorities to use their material. And last one, very important one is, even using the same data in multiple time, probably self-plagiarism are one result used in the multiple way. And the last one is irreproducible result or poor methodology. So these six things will amount to uh, retraction. So as a researcher, we need to be very, very cautious about this retraction because the latest news uh, announcement from NIRF in Indian, Indian affects body to rank higher education institution, NIRF, Anil Sagasra Budai has given a note uh, two days back that here afterwards, NIRF ranking if the institute has a, a retracted paper, they will give the negative marking. So after this particular information, all the universities, all the higher education institution, they'll be very cautious about the retracted paper because so far there, there were no negative markings, but now it is going to be a negative marking. It will affect the credibility as well as the ranking of the higher education institution. So I am Really, I, I am damn sure that every institution, they'll, they'll be very strict on this particular retraction practices. So everybody has to be very cautious because sometimes some unintentional practices, unintentional plagiarism also will lead to a retraction. So it is our prime responsibility to take care of the uh, uh, unethical practices. So we will, we have to completely away, away from those practices so that you'll be safe because Retraction will damage the entire credibility of a particular researcher, institution and the entire university. So it's a very, very serious offense. So you have to be very careful. Let me tell you quickly, what are the ways you can follow, uh, ways and means to follow to avoid the retraction. Number one, yeah, plagiarism. Please be uh, careful about, uh, see, very important thing, unintentional plagiarism. That means you are not knowing that you have plagiarized certain content. That's what you have to be very clear. See, intentional plagiarism, knowing that you are copying and doing it. But normally people don't do that. But unintentionally, you have you could have read somewhere, definitely you could have used in a paper, but you have forgotten uh, to cite the paper. So then it will become plagiarism. So be very cautious whatever the each and every word and statement you make, it has a direct citation, proper citation. Number two, never ever involve in any unethical practices. This unethical practice will come in data manipulation. You collect the data, you could have got some result, you will tweak the data as if you produce the positive result. See, please understand, even the negative results also accepted in the, in the research, there is no necessity, every result has to be positive. So never ever uh, manipulate the data, falsify the data, that is the major thing. Another one, they will collect one data, they use the data slightly tweaking and for the multiple papers but the core data will be the same. So this can be easily identified. So please ensure that for every research you collect a separate data or otherwise you collect the data, different portion of the data is published in different paper, not using the same data, slightly modifying the thing and don't publish it. That will amount to the retraction even though it is your original data and repetitive use of the data will get into the trouble. The next important thing is you forgot to get the proper consent from the other fellow author, uh, not, uh, not a fellow author, probably other researcher, 
for example most of the thing if you go to the research our research integrity risk index that is ri square they call it as ri square research integrity research index is the body they are the uh, organization they identify the retraction paper retracted paper so in the retraction sorry this is about a retraction in the retraction there are nobel laureates paper also got retracted and majority of the paper got uh, what you call image manipulation so the image which they have used is not properly uh, it, it is slightly manipulated for that they have got uh, retracted so you have to be very cautious it is it is it is very very pivotal for every researcher to take care of because you are the owner so you cannot just like that disown that it did happen without my knowledge then your credibility goes and you have to face a lot of consequences because of this bad practice and the last one is how to ensure that we are ethical everything is data and everything is correct do a double check and triple check again and again and ensure that each and every information used in the paper you got a constant you have added the year information in the acknowledgement section so that you won't be into into trouble so please and ensure that and you follow all these practices to avoid the retraction let me tell you first one is plagiarism i have told you clearly have to avoid that second one is unethical like like data manipulation and falsification use only the original data don't use the same data for multiple time third thing and ensure that you get the proper consent from every uh, uh, researcher which you are using in your research paper fourth one even you are using your own data or own paper ensure that you have a, give a proper citation because self plagiarism also amount to a retraction and the last one is ensure that you at any point of time ethical practices only uh, will will take you to the greater heights otherwise it may you have to face adverse consequences even to the loss of job so please be careful about all this thing and if you find it useful please and understand and uh, uh, share this video to everyone because the latest especially the latest nir of ranking announcement it is the eye opener for everybody and have to be very very cautious even even you have unintentionally tried please stop everything and be ethical researcher so that you will never ever get into trouble okay i'll get i'll get you in the next video if you like this video please do not forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so that when i post my next video you will get immediate notification i will catch you in the next video till then bye from professor ashikar